Okay, everybody, what is up and welcome. Back. No, I can't say back. Because we are doing a road to the show, career mode. Use current rosters? So I'm thinking, before we get any further, we're going to hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new, if you are liking the content. And yeah, we're just going to jump right into this and see what we got. With the MLB draft already underway, a young prospect shares his expectations with a former coach. Mm. So what do you think? I would love to play for the Braves, but... I'm thinking anywhere. I'm thinking anywhere. Or here. <laughs> like how instantly it's just there. Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's pumping up mentally here to adapt. That's what okay, good that's players do. That dream again, the big leagues, is now becoming reality with that one phone call. Yes, sir. Continuing our MLB Draft Day 2 wrap-up coverage. Yeah, I ain't doing that. We're going to skip that. And get right into here so we can see what we got. A minor league manager checks in with one of his players to discuss a launch plan for the young man's development. Uh... Try it, sure. Hmm. Nope. Everyone seems to do outfield. Is what I is. Everyone seems to do outfield. Let's go first base. Cool. All right, I already got my guys set up. Rolling along with the podcast and back on the prospect who's divided the scouting community, I am opposed to this belief that he went too high. I really think he could be a steal here. This is a guy who's got so much development left to do. He's got so much potential. Let's and see I think all the scouts who are down on him think, oh, he's not a finished product. We don't know what he is. That, to me, could be a good thing. He can hit. He can feel. He can pitch. There is so much untapped potential so far for this guy. I'm excited to see what he becomes. And certainly as he gets started actually playing, right. actually being in games, we're going to be able to talk to some other folks who get a better read on him and see what they think. I'm excited for that. And frankly, I'm going to have my eye on him for a while. All right, let's see what we got. A player receives a check in from one of his coaches. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Do we just go with a simple fastball change up curveball? Or no coach, these are my pitches exactly. 
You know what? Let's just play it easy. Let's just... Let's take forever. Oh boy. Three position first base. It's oh yeah. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor right. League Baseball. Opening night here in this brand new season between the Pensacola Blue Wahoos and the Mississippi Braves. We've got baseball Ooh, on the ones. show. Let's hear it. It's coming up next. For your Mississippi Braves. <laughs> Kyle Muller gets the call to pitch here on open. Play appearance. At the plate now is Victor Victor Mesa. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Victor Mesa. The 0 2 home down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So just like the first. one hit in the inning, but it's a home run that pushes him out in front. Lever. Of course, it would have been tough for you to pull that off, Danny, fly. being a left-handed pitcher. A few of the infield positions might have given you a hard time. Yeah, it would have been difficult in my situation, Matt, being a lefty, because other than first base or one of the corner outfield spots, I, don't know. I, I think I would have had a difficult time playing. Power did go and up. we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. All right. So now here is no, Eric right. Lieber. He right. flew out in his last A.B. Lieber takes this the other Get way to right. There we go. Find some outfield grass. It's a base hit. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. And that right there was his first double A base hit. I would imagine he's got to feel pretty good about that. I'm sure he does, oh, Matt. Yeah. A lot of guys never get the double A baseball. And even though this isn't the end goal for him, it's always on, nice to get on the stat sheet as you move up through the minors. Here we go. The one two. Opposite field to left. And that's in there. Base hit. I don't know how he got to that fastball right there. That looked like the old Tommy Hawk approach back in the 60s and 70s getting to that one. The batter will be Shea now Langoliers. The catcher. Shea Langoliers. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider right, there two, two away. Really so impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you now don't that. get that call from the no umpire. Pitcher. But what does he do? No, he comes back with a good right, pitch on, and gets the strike. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Come on. Now two and two, two on, two out. This is one you have to make a pitch right here. The last thing you want to do is run the count full to three and two. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Lever. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes the first baseman, Eric Lever. Here's the pitch. Strike oh. one to start the at bat. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. Ye yeah, bitch. Into right the center middle, field, boy. line drive, base hit. Suck yourself. Dan, he took that right back at his face right there. Exactly what you're trying to do. Middle now cut, better. though. Are you a little the concerned? Yeah, that's a case of a oh, ball yeah. being right down the middle. As a pitcher, Go you want to work the corners and stay out of that middle part of the zone, and he paid for it right there with a solid oh, base. Turn, you dumbass. We'll settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head like, back Can you not just have it to where you Doesn't can press B or something the to go back? The season, but right there, you leave her. Next, it'll be Eric Lieber singled in his last at-bat. 
I he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Hey, come on, big dog. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. Okay. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that That's... first pitch heater. And no. now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two. Okay. I live for Jack gotta... Ben here, and standing yeah. in, it'll be Chris yeah. Chenea. And he represents yeah. the potential go ahead run. Yanked on the ground down the line. And this will get by him at third down the line. It's a fair ball. And the runner will score from second. And he's in safely at third as we're now tied after a pair of runs score on the play. Oh, big dog right now time. The plate here no, is man. Eric Lieber. Hey, let he's looking fly. to bring home the winning Lieber. run from third. Now on a comeback here, this could be big. And he is out at the plate. Taking a chance. Trying... And stepping in, Ryan Goins. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Mayhem backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Well, he thought about oh, going shit. for third, and now that runner's in no man's land out there. I the hate tag, the fucking base running out on this base. all of a sudden. It's just now at the plate, Chris Chenea. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. Down the right field line, and that's going to be a fair ball. And the go ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Boy, those have to feel really good. Man, that was yeah, definitely a hard that. earned victory, but that's what's going to make it even more satisfying. Fans they take it in 12 field. innings. Minor League Baseball now on the show as our coverage comes to you from the Double A Central. Tucker Davidson, a Texas born left hander, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what's the word on it? This guy had a year you'd love to forget last year. Awfully ugly. We'll see if he can rebound and pitch much better. And if he doesn't, nope. his spot in the rotation could be in jeopardy. It'll be awfully important that he gets off to a good start in this one. Hmm. Again, another foul ball. Come on, Shotty. Come on. Every time you go out there to start a hey, game on the mound, you drive. hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Fly ball oh, heading for the alley. Nice job. That go. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Around second now and headed for third. The relay. And it's in time Fuck as he's out game. at third as the good Fuck relay off. gets him. I'm sorry, but I was beating that. Stepping in once again is Vic Rowmaker. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ground ball right side. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Got him. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Eric Lieber. If you mm, look at their win percentage right. or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at-bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Damn. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good, productive I even had that guess too. this team going. And there's one away. Next up, Chris Chenea, two for three for him so far, including a triple. A shot down the first baseline. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. There's one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. At least I got the guy out at second. Stepping up is Eric Lieber. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. First pitch on its way. Down the right field line. Oh, you got that one. Around first, digging for two. When you're struggling I'm say time. to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their now third man. hit of the game, the but it's a good one. Ryan. 
One, two. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. The, the fucking gets stumble. One, and the throw is not going to be in time. No, but I did help that out. Base. When you shut a but team out for nothing, it kind of feels like you've won like games. eight or ten to nothing. But this one was really never out of reach. Really good pitching and great nope, defense done. to help them All get right. the win. Four nothing. Which touches base with a new arrival to the team. All right. We hear all the time from people around the game that double so that is gonna be where it. you start to see don't the forget to hit that like button really subscribe you know, I will see y'all in the next one next that can Sunday be a big for and don't forget it every Sunday and I think you know when you, when you every think other back to, Sunday um, so twice you know, a month we are going to be live streaming guys here that you face in the big on the tube uh, for five six you know, the career mode. So that being said, I will see y'all later. Yeah, it was double A because when you see <laughs> those prospects of any organization, they